Hello and welcome to this week's edition of Wednesday Web Chat. I am Carl Lewis, your host, and glad to be here with you today for this presentation of new features in SAP Business One version 9.1. And today's presentation will focus on the new screen customizations capability in SAP Business One version 9.1. Before we get started, let's visit a few announcements. As a reminder, version 9.1 that we are looking at is now in general release. I encourage you to wait until the next patch is out. Patch level 4 was the base for version 9.1. But over the first 30 to 60 days, a lot of bugs are found by the newcomers to this new version, the early adopters, those that like living on the bleeding edge, as we say. And they find them, and they get fixed. And so there'll be a lot of little bug fixes and little pieces of code that got added to make it just right in patch level 5. That's due out at any moment, and I encourage you to wait for that patch level just to mitigate even further the risks associated with changing versions. Also, I wanted you to know that the calendar for Vision 33's Total Care events is now published, at least preliminarily, for the year 2015. And on the Total Care Customer Resources SharePoint site, you can visit that calendar and see all of our forecast topics for Wednesday Web Chat and take a look at when the Crystal Reports classes are going to be held around North America and start making your annual plan to join us at some of those events. Today, we're going to be doing something pretty simple. We're going to be looking at this new screen customization feature in version 9.1, and really it just has two pieces, how to customize screens and how to assign these screens to users so when they log in, that's the default screen that they will use. Right? So without anything else, anything further, let's take a look at SAP Business One and find out how to do it. So where it's at is in Administration, under Utilities, and there's a new section called UI. 